Hey, I want to thank you for joining me once again for our Friday morning devotional. My name is Matt, and I am the communication and social media director at Norwin Christian Church. So I want to ask you a question. Really think about this. And this is uh, going off of Jeff's sermon from this past Sunday. What is your definition of glory? How exactly do we go about defining it? How can you truly picture glory? In Jeff's sermon this past week, we felt the struggle of trying to define the word glory, especially when it comes to God's glory. It's more like defining beauty than defining a simple object. It's something you have to experience to truly understand. If you remember, Jeff used the illustration of a basketball uh, as something that you can define its shape, its color, its size, its feel, its texture. But again, how do you define glory? Jeff used a metaphor of a bucket containing all that God is, his perfection, his majesty, his creation, his presence, and his nature. The stories in the Bible give us little dropperfuls or glimpses into this bucket of God's glory. Like when Moses' face was transformed after seeing God's glory, or the brilliant light and jewel-like quality described in Revelation's depiction of heaven shining with the glory of God. So, what's your definition of glory? Is it awe? Is it brilliance? Majesty? Or just the very nature and presence of God himself? Coming out of Jeff's sermon, we see that God's glory is meant to be spread to all nations, not just kept to ourselves. As Christians, we are called to be the witnesses of God's glory to the end of the earth, making disciples of all nations. One way we can spread God's glory is through love. A deep, pure, refreshing love that points others to the glory of God. A love not just for our own benefit, but a self-sacrificial love modeled after Christ's love for us. A love that reveals the very nature of who God is. So, how have you experienced glimpses of God's indescribable glory? And how can you love others in a way that points them to the glory of the one true God? I want to finish the devotional today by reading Habakkuk 2.14. For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. So comment below. What do you think God's glory is like? How would you describe God's glory? We would invite you to join us at Norwin Christian Church this coming Sunday. We have services at 845 and 1030 in person. And then we also have our live stream uh, during the 845 service. Uh, For that and more information, please check out our website, norwinchristianchurch.com. And again, we hope you join us this week as we take a look at loving our neighbor and how that can bring glory to God.